Hey there, Dorothy here, and uh, welcome back. Uh, we've talked about silence, we've talked about shrinking, and those two are killers. And now we're going to talk about shining, which is what you want to do. You, when you're uh, d doing anything in life, and uh, particular for our topic now in your written word, in your resume as well, you want to make sure that you are shining. And uh, it's important impressively powerful when you show up as that person who A, understands what it is that they want, and B, it knows how to express it powerfully and in the, the way that, that your audience understands it. They get, those hiring managers get hundreds, even today in a full employment kind of economy. Uh, we have uh, every job post having hundreds of applicants. How do those folks uh, uh, winnow the wheat from the chaff? What makes a resume stand out? When you really speak their language uh, in a way that is is intriguing and it's uh, powerful, uh, no uh, wiggly words, uh, very direct, uh, when it's not focused on you, when it's really focused on them, because they've got a problem they are trying to solve and they need a, a skilled professional to come in and help take care of that and take care of it in a very effective and professional way. And when your resume just shines through with that kind of a message, then you are the person who, who is very likely to get that interview. Few people will go to uh, the, the mental uh, effort to craft a resume that really speaks out. It's not just about what you've done, it's about the value that you bring to them to help them solve that problem. So grab that, uh, that link, uh, dorothycoon.com slash get the interview, that's get dash the dash interview. And, uh, and we will see you next uh, week uh, on uh, another longer training so that you can make a well-informed decision about how you want to go forward in getting the, the best job you can out of school, out of graduate school, uh, so that you can set your sights on a really brilliant career from the get-go. And that's what I want for you. So uh, happy holidays, uh, happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas. I think Kwanzaa starts next week. So, uh, and then of course there's New Year's. I love this time of year. So uh, uh, happiness to you, blessings and love, and uh, grab that gift uh, and we'll see you on the other side. Bye for now.